Wild Boys UT, Wild Boys UT, Wild Girls Rocky Top. Welcome Vol Nation to another episode of the Lane Kiffin Show, where we talk the best smack in SEC football. Tonight's guest is my predecessor as Tennessee's football coach, Philip Fulmer. We will discuss the not-so-surprising resignation of Urban Meyer as Florida's football coach, and Florida Athletic Director Jeremy Foley's surprise hire of Philip Fulmer as Irby's replacement. Coach Fulmer and I will also rehash my first season as his replacement at Tennessee. You smart-ass egotistical little punk. What the hell have you done to my volunteers? I cannot pick up a news sentinel or surf ESPN without seeing another story about recruiting violations or something stupid you've said. You let that crazy Cajun man or Jerron pose half-naked players around an orange Lamborghini and turn the team into the Chip and Vols. And you've turned the UT hostesses into a Facebook whorehouse. You don't get it, Phil. That's all part of the plan, to put the volunteers back on top in this league. There is no such thing as bad publicity. Let's shift gears and talk about the Florida situation. Losing the man-child Tebow and the prospect of facing my orange juggernaut next year in Knoxville apparently has driven Urban Meyer into early retirement for an extended bout of thumb-sucking. So long, Irby. Commissioner Slive will miss you. He never got over the orange flu that your team gave him down in the swamp this year. I thought the poor man looked constipated all season long. When athletic director Foley called to discuss the opening, I told him that I am qualified to coach Florida since they wear orange too. And I saw enough of the gator chomp during my years in Knoxville to know how to keep the volunteers in their place. With Tebow gone, and with you coaching the Gators, I'll go ahead and pencil in a win for next year's Florida game in Knoxville. Other than that, I wish you the best in your brief tenure in Gainesville. Let's talk about my first season here and break down the Chick-fil-A Bowl game against Virginia Tech. Your first season started like my last one with a bad offense and a solid defense. At least you did not have the train wrecked offense to deal with. No one ever understood. What in the hell, Dave Clawson was doing with the offense last year. Especially the players who had to run it. If I had reined him in after spring practice, I'd be sitting in your chair right now. Fortunately for me, I'm here, and you are there. My best move, was turning Coach Summit loose on Jonathan Crompton. She scared poor Jonathan into being a top-tier SEC quarterback. I wish I had thought of that move last year. It was good to see Jonathan salvage his last season. And Ontario Hardesty had a breakout senior year. He did a great job holding on to the ball and running hard. I'm real proud of Ontario. Too bad Eric Berry did not get the NCAA record for interception returned yardage. But Monty did the right thing playing him closer to the line. I hope he breaks the record in the Tech game. For the Tech game, we plan to double up on the coffee and Red Bull, wear solid orange, and go turkey hunting. Pops will drape Eric Berry all over T-Mobile and let JL Jensen hold down the secondary. We'll pluck the Hokies and send them back to Blacksburg on a platter. You better take care of special teams. We suck as bad this year as last year in the kicking game and Tech plays Beamer Ball. You have your work cut out for you. That we do, but unlike your teams, we will bother to show up prepared to play. And so we wrap up another episode of the Lane Kiffin Show. Give it up Rocky Top. UT Wild Boys. UT Wild Girls. Go Big Orange.